Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. My name is Missy and I am so happy that you are here. Today's video is going to be all about budget-friendly vintage home decor shopping. We're actually in a thrift store right here to begin with and then we're going to pop into two different antique stores and I'm going to show you how I am using each one of the pieces I pick up in my home today. Really excited about that, but I am most excited about what Hubby found. I I cannot believe it. It's absolutely amazing. You're going to want to stick around. You cannot miss it. I really hope that you're enjoying this video so far. If you could do me a favor, will you let me know down in the comments if you enjoy seeing the prices on the screen. Uh, today's video is the first time that I have done that and I would really like to know if you guys find that helpful. So please let me know that down below. I'm passing this off here to hubby because we are going to be styling this one here in my home. <laughs> I kind of had my hand behind it there so that you could see it. Now my idea with this piece here for just a dollar was to try to get some of my ironstone pieces to kind of stand up and display them so that you can see them a little bit better and so that was my idea with this and so I'm going to try this little platter here and I picked that one because the other one that you saw there on the plate was just a little bit too chunky so I'll have to be on the lookout for a couple of more thin platters to go ahead and add to this display here. We are in the first antique store here now and I am looking at this because I am looking for chimneys. If you guys saw my video, was it was it my cluttering video or keys to no clutter, you would have seen that I purchased a wagon wheel light. Here it is right here. I have it up in my dining room and I am on the hunt for these chimneys to go in it. Now, don't mind my mess down there. I'm actually working on other projects here um, as I'm filming this video. So we're going to go ahead and take a shot with this for $8. And I'm trying to do this here and hold the camera and do this at the same time. Now, what do you guys think? It looks like it rattles around in there just a little bit, but I'm going to show you something here in just a second that I think is the reason why it is doing that. And then I'm going to go ahead as well and grab the little toppers that go on there. You all had let me know um, that that is how this is supposed to work. So it is super darling, but let me know what you guys think once I have it all set up here. Um, do you think that's the right size? What do you think? Let me know down below. I really need your help on that one. Okay, this right here is what I was just talking about. I think where that wire comes down into there for the light, I think that's why the chimney does not sit flat and I don't know that any chimney will. So I think maybe what I have will work. So yeah, definitely let me know about that down in the comments. Now I thought this piece right here was stunning. I actually carried it around for a little while because I'm doing blue in my home this year for spring. I did not pick it up, but I did think that it was beautiful.
The struggle was real here on this tin. I had picked it up in one area, set it over on this table. It is so hard sometimes to do everything one-handed, but I did want to see if there was anything on the bottom. I thought this was super cute too. I did not bring it home, but I did really like it. And then here, Hubby and I are looking at this set of uh, blue transfer wear. Now, just the plates and the bowls and everything was $60 for the set. Um, they were beautiful. I really wanted this piece right here. And then the next piece I'm going to show you with cows on it. But because it was the whole set, I went ahead and I left it behind. And here it is. Hubby found this. Um, he went ahead and he set it back down so that I could film it. But Hubby found this, this antique Delft tile for $29. Oh my goodness. I did a Google lens and comps were like $260, $244. I don't sell anything or resell anything, but I just could not believe what he found. That was absolutely incredible. We have never seen anything like it before. And he was so excited. He was pumped the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of the day. So that was super fun. But it is beautiful and it is going up here on my shelves in the kitchen and this little um, in this little spot right here I went ahead and I grabbed this little white stand and there was no way I was going to try to film in one hand and put that tile up there in the other but that is where it is at it is so beautiful I love that the tile itself has some blue to it so that's going with my spring decor and looking so good I am so happy and excited and just so thankful so thankful to have this piece of history it's just so beautiful We are in the third thrift store, <laughs> thrift store, we are in the third, no, we're not even in the third antique store, Missy, oh my goodness. We are in the third store, second antique store, and came across that beautiful croc. I love crocs like that. Um, <laughs> what I'm showing you here is right now I am using this as a salt croc, and I'm going to go ahead and leave that out for now because I am doing the blues for spring, but I wanted you to kind of see what it would look like sitting here, so I'll probably bring that out and set it there for fall but I do have something else that I'm going to go ahead and do with it now so that I can go ahead and enjoy it so I'll show you here in just a second So yeah, right here is going to be his place until fall. I think he's going to look great in here with my two Dundee jars. I think that they go so well together with that writing on the front. So yeah, he'll stay here um, for right now and then I'll bring him out in the fall. Thank you. 
I thought since we have been doing so much in the cabinet today that I would show you that I actually moved it in my home. It is now in the corner in my dining room and I am looking forward to showing you the little changes that I have made for spring. But also stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to show you a makeover of that living room window.